Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gin we'll be trying today is Butler's Gin. Over there. This gin is crafted in the heart of East London, not too far away from where we live. Butler's Gin is inspired by a Victorian recipe that was tweaked <laughs> and developed over two years. Tweaked. It took a while. What a lovely word. It contains five botanicals, juniper, star anise, coriander, lemon and lime. It's then infused with lemongrass and cardamom. We quite like lemongrass. I do like lemongrass. Yeah. The ingredients are organically sourced and every stage of the production has been researched so it ensures Butler's Gin is sustainable and kind to the environment, which we love. We love that. Yeah. Butlers have now created a bubbly by fermenting the drum of distillates from their gin. It's available from their website and costs about £18. We've got a few bottles here. We have indeed. Yeah. We, <laughs> like, we do like it. We do like a bit of bubbly. Um, it comes in a 50 centilitre bottle, the gin that is, with an ABV of 37.5% and costs £22. £22 is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good price. As always, we're making a classic gin and tonic using premium tonic water and their gin. Um, and then garnishing with a, some lemon zest. Sorry. Yes, with a twist of lemon and lemon zest. Yeah, oh, we, could, lemon we could twist it. Well, we could do it. Yeah. We could, we could, we do, could it do whatever we want. We whatever we want. want. Yeah, whatever we we want. There you go. Yeah. Right, here we go. It's our first time trying it as well. Very, very excited. Yeah, we, do, we, we have got a few of these bottles of bubbly. Um, we, do, we do like a little bit of bubbly. We do. We like it. What do we like it with normally? Uh, what's that? Chambord. Chambord. I can never, I never get that right. Um, and we, we also put a lot of the kind of gin liqueurs yeah. with, with bubbly as well. And, oh yeah, we do. And I like the fact that they're using, you know, things from the gin production in actually making it. So it's, it's making it more sustainable. Yeah. Right, there we go. Let's, um... oh, that's a screw top. Isn't that weird? Yeah, how strange. <laughs> oh, I can smell that already. Oh wow, oh, what an intense smell. It is, mm. it's not overly ginny, but there's there's kind of, it's very fresh. Oh, yeah, it's very fresh. Ooh. Oh, but then, then you do get Oh, the that's gin. a ginny gin. That's a gin. really good ginny it's, gin. It's really bright juniper. Mm. It is citrusy, it's quite floral. It is, it's a mixture between, it's going between citrus and floral. Perfect balance there. It reminds me mm. a bit of cut grass. Oh, I haven't got that yet. That? Oh, that could be the lemongrass, because I love lemongrass. It reminds me of the smell of, a little bit of the smell of cut grass. Now, see, I'm getting more lemon, well, I'm getting lemongrass. I actually am getting lemongrass. Love it. I, th I think the taste for me, if, if I want to put the taste into a kind of, another kind of way, it tastes green. Okay. Do you see what I mean? I uh, see. I haven't got that yet. I haven't got it. I think you've got that very quickly. Someone once said, "Do you do you liken your kind of tastes to kind of shapes and things like that?" We, we was uh, talking to someone once about it, and um, I said, "Yeah, sometimes I think of that." And this would be this would be kind of like spiky. It's quite it's quite actually sharp. No, 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 you said spiky. Yeah, I see points on this. Yeah, yeah. it's quite it's quite sharp. Oh wow! Look at that. Right, well, let's see what it's like with a tonic in it. So, let's give it a try. Indeed. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers, Scott. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> nice. That's really refreshing. It's lovely. It's really refreshing. The, the juniper's not overpowering. It's a nice light juniper. Do you know what it is? It's it's a modern gin. <gasps> oh, we like these modern gins. It is a modern gin. We do gin. like the modern gin. I know it comes from a Victorian recipe um, and it's got the history behind it, but it's it's done in such kind of lovely, gentle proportions that it's not, it's, oh, that not over, is... it's not overpowering in every way, but it's it's kind of green, it's kind of floral. Um... It's it's so nice and citrusy. Mm. Lovely, lovely citry, citrusness going on there. Uh, the lemongrass, I love the lemongrass in it. And I think the, the cardamom really helps, and the coriander is just really, it's delicate, it's almost, uh, 
a little bit perfumey, but very, very faintly. It's very delicate. It does, the perfume on that. Yeah. I, I mean, it's more citrusy for me. Maybe because we've got a zest in there as well. But it is, it is citrusy. It's nice and like, I'll tell you what it is. We've had this before with a few. It's a bit effervescent. It's a bit... <gasps> Yeah. You, well sherbety. done. It's, it's, he's good at yeah, this, isn't it's he? a bit effervescent. It's a bit sherbet. It is. It is effervescent. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. And it's a and it's a local place to us. And oh, it's lovely. With their bubbly, you get these beautiful gold bags. I Look know they're that. beautiful and they're, they're so nice. They're so nice. They're so so nice. I mean, I can't wait to pop this open. To be fair, um, he said when when I kind of lined it up, he went, "Oh, we haven't one of those open." I was like, "No, no, we're just doing yeah, the gym. What a waste." Doing that. I know, but it. we could do that another time. We could do that another time. Um, but yeah, this this is this is beautiful. Yeah, very good. It's citrusy, lemongrass definitely comes through on that. It's not overpowering in mm. any of the flavours. Like a nice little dryness going on there. Really like that. It's great enough. It's to, effervescent. It is effervescent, and it's it's a young taste. It's great enough to drink when it's kind of hot during the daytime and stuff. Mm. But it's sophisticated enough, I think, that it would hold up in a like. A, a nice cocktail, a nice, a nice martini, or, or neat. I think it's delicate. Mm. It's quite a delicate taste in there. Yeah, but I think sophisticated in a way is it's it's not just punching with like loads and loads of extreme flavours. Oh no no, it's like that. That's a good standard flavour in it. I like mm. that. Very nice. I think you should score it. Well, let's do that. Hold on, let me have another swig mm. just to make sure. Right, I'm gonna get my one. Mm. There we go. Wow, we should we should go and visit them. Actually, we just we're just down the road, really. We often do walks along the canal for into Hackney, don't we, Rune? Yeah. 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 Um, hold on, hold on. What are you doing? Are you done? Yeah. Right, well, let's, let's show them. Go. Yeah. So that is, that's a really good gin. That's a really good gin. It is. I, I, really, I really like it. Um, it's numbered as well. I mean, it's done in really small batches. The, the bottle's really lovely. It, re it reminds me of something kind of like I like the fact it's a screw top. <laughs> I like that. Well, it's easy for me to, to get, you know, I mean, once you get a plastic off, it's easy for me to open. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, 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 really, it's a really interesting one because obviously the lemon grass and the cardamom are actually infused in the gin afterwards. So I think that's what gives it. I, I, I'll of, tell you, it's, it's it's really good and it's delicate. Flavor. I was contemplating whether or not it should be a ten, right? Um, I think it's good enough to be a ten. I just wanted a slightly higher ABV. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, but I then looking at it, I don't know if that would ruin flavour. It could do. Ah. S what if they was to produce an lady strength? Oh. Bearing in mind it, it's Hackney, maybe they could do a canal strength. There you go. Look at, look at that. that. Tell you what, his marketing ideas are great. Yeah, if any of you guys watching videos need a bit of a few marketing tips, come and let me know. I've got, I've got, I'm, I'm full of brilliant ideas. I thought you were about to say you're full of it. I am. I am full of that and all. Um, but no, it's, it's a really lovely I gym. mean, I am contemplating it, it, it being a 10. It's just I do like a so little bit more... A little bit more punch. Yeah. Bang for your buck. Yeah. But, but it's lovely. nine's it's a lo good score and yeah. it's a good gin. This is a, this is a good... Good gin. It's love, lovely, lovely flavours. Can't wait to open these. So we've, we've got these as well. So we'll be looking forward to having those. And uh, yeah, I, th I think actually we should do we should do a few videos where we um, pop, use, pop some bubbly. We pop some bubbly and we, we put it with some gin. And uh, yeah, we could, oh, we could no do, a, we could do a nice cocktail with this and their bubbly. And I think we'll do that. But there you go. In the meantime, <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment if you had any bubbly. Be interested to know. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. 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 Cheers.